It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, December the 8th. I'm Michael Groff. Another very warm day ahead. Temperatures on the order of 10 to 15 degrees above normal. Slightly cooler tomorrow, but the clouds start to increase. And we will see chances of rain coming into south central Arizona, including the Phoenix Metro, by tomorrow night and Thursday. And even though significant precipitation is not expected, we'll take whatever we can get. It's been almost four months since we've had measurable rain. All right, let's talk about it first. Yesterday, quite a temperature variance. 80 degrees, the afternoon high. 44 was the morning low. The normal high, 67. The normal low, 46. And as we look outside right now, here at 7.20 a.m., a few clouds out there right now, sitting at 58 degrees at Sky Harbor. A very warm and dry start with a dew point at 13. Relative humidity, 17%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures this morning all over the place. We've got 43 at Tolleson, but 67 at Arcadia and North Scottsdale and everything in between throughout the metro. This is definitely not one of those uh, days where it's a one-number kind of forecast. Here's the upper air look across the country, and you'll note that upper low is spinning to the west of us out there off of the Southern California and Northern Baja coast. And eventually, that will start to move east and bring moisture into much of Arizona and giving us that chance of precipitation. Here's the watch warning map, some air stagnation advisories and dense fog and some freezing fog advisories up there across parts of the Northwest. Few uh, dense fog advisories over parts of Iowa and Missouri. Convective outlook, no organized severe weather, no thunder expected across the contiguous US. And here's the precipitation outlook valid through next Tuesday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix between about one and two tenths of an inch. But we could see anywhere from one half to one inch of rain in an isolated spot or two over east, central and southeast Arizona with this system coming through. We'll talk about that and everything else going on as we dive into modeling. Here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run valid at two o'clock this afternoon. The overall pattern not really changing a whole lot right now. Big high pressure out here in the west and a trough for the East Coast and our upper low off of Southern California and Northern Baja, and that'll send some mid and high level clouds in here. So down at the surface, yes, partly cloudy this morning, mostly cloudy this afternoon. But despite the clouds, the sun should still filter through and warm us up nicely. Highs, upper 70s and low 80s for the deserts. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly clear after midnight. Overnight lows, mid 40s to mid 50s, then tomorrow, More the same, some high clouds around, especially by the afternoon. The clouds should start to thicken up then too, but it'll still be another warm day with highs in the mid and upper 70s, at least 10 degrees above average or so. Now by tomorrow night, we'll start to introduce a chance of showers as the moisture from this system begins to move into southern Arizona. Again, I really think the deepest moisture with this feature still stays to the east and southeast of Metro Phoenix. Nevertheless, At least scattered light showers are still possible beginning later tomorrow evening and continuing into the day on Thursday, a partly to mostly cloudy sky. And by Thursday, high temperatures should fall off quite a bit, likely back into the mid and upper 60s. And then by Friday, that system moves out of here pretty quickly, although still some showers possible across northern and eastern Arizona with another follow-up system passing north of the state. Uh, We'll have high temperatures continue in the mid-60s or so, and then the weekend looks pretty nice too. Occasional high clouds, high temperatures mid-60s for Saturday and Sunday. Those overnight lows should be much cooler though with somewhat drier air in here, generally in the upper 30s to mid-40s. On Monday, another system approaches us, but Again, it looks like this one's going to pass mostly north of here. I do think there should be an increase in clouds with this. There could be an isolated shower or two across northern and eastern Arizona, but in the valley, we're looking to stay dry. This should help to just reinforce some cool air. High temperatures remain in the mid-60s. Here's a week from today, Tuesday the 15th. That system passing through. Uh, Heights below average. Temperatures probably low 60s or so. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday the 17th. And a northwest flow here, trough in the east, and that looks dry and seasonal, maybe temperatures a couple of degrees above average at most. And as we take a look at precipitation off of the European Ensemble here in Phoenix over the next couple of weeks, and almost all of the members are showing rain with this system in here Wednesday night and Thursday. The Ensemble mean continues to go up with each run as well, now approaching a half inch. I'm not sure we get quite that much, but it's an interesting trend. 
And temperatures off the national blend of models. Yes, it's got us up at 80 degrees again today, 78 tomorrow. And then more or less, we should be pretty close to normal for the rest of the forecast period going through mid-December. And that should just about do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys be safe out there and have yourselves a fantastic Tuesday.